Hi, it's Elise here. Now I've got a question for you. What is it in your career, in your work, or maybe just more generally in your life that you're really uh, not happy about at the moment? The one thing, the one topic that you find yourself complaining about if you're having a bit of a moaning session with, with some of your friends or colleagues. Um, have you got it? Have you, have you thought of that thing? Okay, I want to ask you how much agency, how much input, how much um, of, of a contribution is your behavior making to create that problem? Now you might Im immediately turn around and say, I've got no impact on that. It's all external. The reason I ask you this is I think that we have a lot more, um, a lot more of a part to play than we might own in creating some of our own issues. Let me give you a, a real life example. So I'm working, working with a coaching client at the moment and her really big problem is the hours that she's working. She's working ridiculously long hours. And, you know, I frankly, I told her the other day, she doesn't stop doing that. She's going to burn out. And I know that because that's been a real challenge of mine too. Um, and when we dug into why is she really working those long hours, what is it that is driving her to be online at, you know, 6, 7 a.m. in the morning and still online at 8, 9 o'clock at night? And it really came down to the issue that she works in a global business. And frankly, at any time in 24 hours in a global business, if somebody's online, somebody wants something of you, they're sending you emails or, you know, whatever. But we have to take responsibility for our own actions and our behavior because it's how we act that other people take the lead from. In fact, what we're doing is we're teaching people how we want to act, how we how we want to work. So if they find us online at seven or eight in the morning and also eight or nine at night, if they send us emails that we are responding to or meeting requests that we accept that is way outside of our normal working day, then that's the message that we're giving them. We're giving them the message that we are happy to work those hours, that we will do that, those things and we will respond out of hours. And so that cycle continues. As long as we um, are responding, we will be expected to respond. So what are the challenge that I've given my coaching client is to contain her hours and to stop reading emails or accepting meeting invitations outside of the normal course of work, her working day. Now, if that's a difficult challenge to take if it's a deeply ingrained habit. But coming back to my question to you, I would ask you, that biggest problem that you've got in your life at the moment, what could you do? What behavior could you change? What attitude could you change? What action could you take that would start to dissipate that problem? Because I think we all have a lot more agency than we might think we do. What do you think? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below.